Hello and welcome to this deck summary overview episode. I'm going to go maybe 30 seconds, a minute, into as many as I can. I won't post the list in the description for all of them. I'll just let you pause, look things over, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, no, this uh, this should be good. A bunch of you guys wanted to see this, so we're bringing it to you. Just organizing it from the last modified I feel and that one happened to be old fogey so we're going to start right here okay as you may have seen some of the old fogey episodes uh, what that is is old standard dinos so before m20 no shifting ceratops no marauding raptor it, it's kind of rough it's quite a bit slower uh, tillinali's crown is uh Pretty nice in it. I like pinging dinos, getting some value. Something else at two. Kind of, in a way, replaces Marauding Raptor. Very different, of course, but yeah. It's still pretty fun. Still does some big stuff. Got some nice things in the sideboard. Reckless Rage. Uh, Rampaging Frostodon, of course. An All-Star. Death Gorge. Thrashing. So we do, again, still cover quite a few angles. All right. Okay, the next one coming up. Crazy Dino Test. Oof. So, main idea with this is adding black for some nice uh, board wipes, removal against stuff. I'm starting to test out Crippling Fear because we are a tribal, so that could be pretty decent. Minus three, minus three should hurt quite a few decks, I think. Elves especially goblins that sort of thing so that's the the main idea and then if we don't need crippling fear i'm thinking switching it out and putting labyrinth raptor in just so we still make use of the sources of black that we brought in to play crippling fear of course i got the phyrexian swamp there pretty fantastic but yeah that's uh the basic idea of crazy dino test right now Okay, next up we got speed dinos. Um, pretty much it's just making sure all the dinos have haste a little more often. So I put in a single of Urabrask, the hidden. It also slows the opponent's creatures down, coming into play tapped. It's pretty decent. Um, basically a, a fifth Regis or Alpha, sort of given everybody haste and then rhythm of the wild there as well as like a sixth just to make sure everybody's swinging fast the turn they come down that's basically it okay and then we got anger dino kind of rough at the moment pretty much just having anger of the gods in crush the weak uh, combination of sweepers Raging Sword Tooth followed by Crush the Weak or Anger of the Gods could take out a little more tough stuff, I guess. Uh, pinging for one plus the three should take out quite a bit for sure. So that's the basic idea there. Sweepers. All right, and then we have Dino Tramp. Dino Trample. Uh, pretty much Quartzwood Crasher getting rammed through as well to take advantage of all the trample and yeah pretty much it we got trample trample killing stuff maybe killing them lethal get a galta and ram through that's probably pretty fantastic if you're targeting something small but yeah that's a uh, basic idea of that one all righty and then we got vivian's dinos Vivian Arcbow Ranger, the namesake. Just fantastic getting counters, but also getting the trample. Uh, another way to get it onto Marauding Raptor if it's big. Um, putting stuff on uh, Ranging Raptors, Ripjaw, just to make them bigger. Incentivize the opponent like they don't want to take too much damage, but if they do, block it. I mean, we're getting some value from Ranging or Ripjaw. So it's pretty good that way, and that power sticks around for you know future turns. 
playing golf or cheaper. So that's pretty much it. It's good planeswalker all around, no matter what we're facing. And it does have the opportunity for some more targeted removals. So we got Primal Might and Vivian together. Pretty good in the targeted removal department. Alrighty, and then we got Primal Fight. So it's basically Primal Dino. A lot of fight stuff, Inscription and Primal Might, mixture of the two. And then uh, I do have four Territorial Allosaurus. I just didn't add the other three. But basically fighting, fighting, killing. That's the name of the game. Sideboard is uh, four Barrier Breach. Main idea is against Azorius, Auras, that sort of thing. If you don't need it, of course, cycling. It's always fantastic just to get rid of it. Switch it up for something else. Whew. Okay, well, wow, this is uh, kind of spicy. I'm liking, I'm liking this. I always wanted to make this, so I finally splurged a little bit ago. Redeemed my wild cards for Wandering Archaic. Calling it Wandering Dino. So basically, we're going to screw over some Jeskai, is it Phoenix, that sort of thing. Whenever they cast an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay too. If they don't, whew, we're Jeskai dinos, is it dinos, that sort of thing. That's the main idea. If we get multiples of Wandering Archaic, that's good. Maybe we make multiples with Glass Pool Mimic, that sort of thing. But yeah, the main idea is um, sort of tamer. It doesn't have to be tamer because Wandering Archaic is colorless, but I just wanted to put that card in as tech against those sort of decks. Alrighty, then we got 5C Dino. It's not five colors here, as you can see, but basic idea is easily being able to play five colors Vizier of the Menagerie. It's kind of slow. It is also redundant, so that's not really a great thing. That's probably part of the reason why I don't like it too much, but yeah, it's there as a backup. Kind of fun. Might be fun. Alrighty, then we got Apex Dino. At the moment, as you can see, only one Apex Dinosaur, Snapped Axe, but that's a pretty fantastic one. Um, Huntmaster, turn two, could possibly lead to a hasty snap dex, turn three. That's pretty fantastic. A three, five, double strike, haste, turn three. What's not to love about that? You could easily add more Apex Dinos. Um, Vadrock, Aluna, wouldn't be too bad, especially with, of course, Ancient, ancient Ziggurat in unclaimed territory. That's about it, though. Alrighty, then following that Apex Dino one, we got Apex Ponza. So basically Stone Rain, Vadrock, copying it, killing all their lands, getting rid of it. Snapdax, mutate onto Vadrock, cast some more Stone Rain, Sawtusk Demolisher, because chances are we don't really care about them making three threes if we got a bunch of other big stuff, so we kill, we destroy a lot of things with this deck. Alrighty, and then of course Boros Dinos, you may have seen the episode, might do some more in the future, Def definitely we'll do some more in the future. Uh, pretty basic idea, white and red, we get a bunch of fantastic stuff. Zetalpa, oh, what's not to love about a 4-8 flying double strike? Vigilance, trample, indestructible. Pretty difficult for the opponent to get rid of that. Alrighty, and then we got Coco Dino. Oh no, Coco Dinos. Um, I didn't really like it just because being a collected company deck, we got to cut stuff above three, so kind of sucks. I miss Ripjaw Raptor, Shifting Ceratops, that sort of thing. And not a lot of strong enter the battlefield effects. Uh, basically just Death Court Scavenger. But 
when stuff does enter the battlefield, I mean, it has the possibility of buffing Marauding Raptor, getting some extra damage on that way. So it's not a total loss, but definitely not my most favored variation. Probably pretty low on the list. All right, then we got Counting Dinos. 1-1 one, one counters. Could add hardened scales uh, since that just became legal. Got a couple of them. So it might be pretty decent. Huatli's Raptor is nice. And then we got... Um, oh, I know this one. But the other new Enraged Dino from Modern Horizons 2. Uh, that when it's pinged, uh, you proliferate. So you get that and Huatli's Raptor. Things could grow out of hand pretty quick for sure. Yeah, that's the basic idea. Celestia colors. All right, and then we got Dinoitol. Basically, Semester's End as an inspiration for the name. Um, going to school. We're schooling our opponents with this awesome Dino deck. Protects against all kinds of board wipes, exiles, um, Ugin. You know, we save everybody and bring them back. Get value from Enrage Pings, uh, that sort of thing. So it's pretty fantastic, and it powers them all up. So what's not to love about that? Okay, and here we go with Little Pingers. Basically, Little Pings, Dual Shot, Cinderclasm, Forerunner of the Empire, just to really get a, a ton of value from things like Siegehorn Ceratops, uh, Ranging Raptors, of course, Classic Ripjaw. It's pretty fantastic. You have Marauding out, and while its trigger is on the stack before it hits Siegehorn, you cast something like a Dual Shot, Cinderclasm. So then it goes up. Marauding Raptor hits it again. It just grows out of control. It's pretty fantastic when it goes off. Then, of course, Raging Sword Tooth. Uh, you get a Forerunner out. Ooh, it's nasty. Chances are wiping out the opponent's creatures. Um, they got to be pretty tough because they're going to be hit by, you know, one, one or two if you need. Dual shot could take out some small stuff as well. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All righty, and then we have, oh, we're going to end off on one of my favorites, Lurking Dino. Now, you may not know this card from the first jump start. Lurking Predators, six. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, we get a dino. And we're not even casting it. You can't even respond to this because it literally just onto the battlefield. There's no no opportunity. Just goes. Can't counter, you can't nothing. Ether Gust doesn't do anything. So it's uh pretty fantastic. It's good in multiples. Um yeah, it's it's certainly interesting when it goes off. Um it's definitely hit or miss but oh oh it's it's nuts for sure yeah hope you enjoyed all those brief rundowns overviews if there's anything else you'd like to see or maybe an episode of one of the decks i'll definitely see if i can make it happen all right until next time if you haven't subscribed do so